Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today you're going to be witnessing a week in the life of my hair. So I'm going to be showing you what my hair looks like on day one. So wash day, which is today, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, or however long, um, well, <laughs> or however long I last until my next wash day. Basically, I want to show you guys how I sleep with my hair because that is so highly requested. I want to show you how I refresh my hair in the morning on different days, like where my hair is at. I want to show you how I exercise with my hair, how I fix my hair after I exercise, the hairstyles I do when my hair is looking a little rusty at, towards the end of the week, and yeah, just everything to do with um, a week in the life of my 3A B curls. I don't know what that was. I did a similar video to this about a year and a half ago and you guys absolutely loved it so I'm back again to do another one. Although this time it's probably going to be a little bit different because we are in isolation and I don't really have any plans of going anywhere. So my hair might actually last longer than it would if I was on stage performing or you know if I was going to events every day and things like that. So today was wash day, as I mentioned, and um, if I do say so myself, my curls are looking so healthy and glossy and voluminous, and like just the shine and definition really has me like very excited always for wash day. Even though my hair is um, really long and the ends definitely need a trim, um, it actually doesn't look as scraggly as um, I thought it would because of how you know, moisturized and healthy my hair is. And that really comes down to the shampoo and conditioner that I've been using. So as you guys know, it is definitely a struggle sometimes for curly girls to find products that work for them because every type of curly hair is so unique and different. And that's why, as I've mentioned before, I'm obsessed with Function of Beauty. If you don't know what Function of Beauty are, they are a hair care brand that specializes in creating unique shampoo and conditioner for your specific hair type. I do want to mention that I am working with Function of Beauty on this video. They are a brand that I really love and I really believe in. So in my last update with Function of Beauty, I was using my first ever products for them, but now I'm on round two and I was able to customize them a little bit more. So after using my first batch, I really loved them, but I wanted to switch a few things up. Also, they smell so good and the packaging is just really cute. <laughs> so it's really easy. You guys can customize your own products as well. So all you have to do to customize your own shampoo and conditioner um, is is take a two minute quiz. So firstly, you can choose your hair type, which is great. So you've got straight, wavy, curly, or coily. Then you can also pick your hair structure. Then you can um, also choose your scalp moisture. Next, you can select up to five hair goals. You can also select your fragrance, which is really cool. You can also select to get your name customized on your bottles. So guess what I picked? I picked Curly Cutie. These products are also free from parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins, and they are also 100% vegan. Now, you have the option of picking um, the conditioner to be silicone-free, meaning these are also Curly Girl approved. Um, you can actually get a subscription and get these products delivered to you every month. I'll leave all the details in the description box. Also, I have a 20% off code for you guys. You guys loved this last time, and I love giving back to you with codes so that things aren't too expensive. So here is the code to get 20% off your first order. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. And yeah, so I use these today in my um, wash routine. I love these big like spikes really ringlets that I'm getting lately. Yay! So guys, um, after I washed my hair, whoa, after I washed my hair for my first day, all I did was style it as I normally would. I'm not going to do, not going to show you that in this video because I literally show you that all the time and I have so many videos on styling. So I'll link one here. Click that if you want to see how I style my hair, but this is how my hair looks typically looks on the first day and I let my hair air dry today and then I quickly diffused it at the end of the process just to add a little bit more volume. Now besides shaking out my hair a lot on the first day I don't like to tie it up or play with it or sleep on it um, and I like to just be really careful and just let it be so that I'm not disturbing the curl pattern and also on my first day my hair tends to be really soft so I don't want to you know flatten out my curls or like droop them and stretch them out. So stay tuned to see how I sleep with my curls tonight and how they look in the morning tomorrow for my second day. I'm so sorry guys, I forgot to film how I go to sleep with my hair. I had a friend over and we were up pretty late and then I just like went to bed because I literally completely forgot that I was filming this video. But I'll just explain now how I slept with my hair. So as you can see, I just put it in this kind of really loose high pineapple. 
and I secure it with a scrunchie. This one's like really loose, so I just wrapped it around twice, but some of the scrunchies I have, I only need to wrap around once. So you want it really loose um, so that you're not like completely squishing and indenting that part of your hair. So this means, I'll do a little demo. <laughs> when you lie down, as you can see, all the curls are on the top. So they're not actually getting affected and squished. Instead, this back part of your hair will be getting the most kind of damage um, and fluff. But that part is the part that's most hidden when you refresh your hair. So that is why I like to sleep with my hair in a high pony. Now if you have short hair, I highly suggest getting a little satin bonnet to put over your head and sleep with. That is probably the best way to keep it protected because you can't do this little big, little, <laughs> you can't do this big pineapple on the top of your head. Jessie, say hi. They're so fluffy in the morning. So I suggest buying a silk pillowcase. This one is from Slip and I've had it for about two years now and it is amazing. So instead of sleeping on cotton, cotton really kind of tangles and fuzzes up your hair. But silk is amazing for your skin and also your hair because your hair just kind of glides over it. So that way you're going to get less fuzz. So this is what I end up looking like in the morning. Now I don't refresh my hair straight away because I'm going to exercise better so guys this is um, a bit of a better view of what my hair looks like as you can see nice and fuzzy so basically for exercising I'm just going to take it out I'm not going to shake it I'm not going to you know fluff it out or anything I'm just going to re-secure it a little bit like neat up but not too neat um, so I'm gonna wrap it three times into just like a little high pony and then I like to put on a headband So by adding the headband, it kind of just catches all the sweat on your forehead. Your hair is going to get a little bit messy when you exercise, but I found that this way is really good at helping prevent any further fuzz. I'll be back to show you how I refresh my hair after I exercise. So guys, I know I brought out the American accent there, not sure at all. Um, I finished my workout, it was a sweaty one. I did arms and then I did cardio, um, and this is my hair after. To make sure I don't get any extra moisture in my hair because it's already been sweating, I'm going to put on a shower cap, have a body a rinse, body wash, so I'm not stinking gross, and then I'll show you how I will refresh my hair for the rest of the day. Shower has been had. I've had my shower, guys. So what I like to do is take my diffuser, also in the ponytail, I like to take the diffuser and just hit the spots on my roots that are wet or moist to really get the excess moisture out of there because that will make your hair flat and fuzzy when you dry it. Done. So obviously my hair doesn't have too much moisture left in it because I wore the shower cap. So now I'm going to take it out. That's better. Just realized the whole time I was filming in the other room I was on the wrong setting so that's why the lighting's not. But that's fine. So I've taken my hair out. I'm going to give it a big shake because we've got to get those curls off the scalp and we've got to fluff them out so they're not all clumped together and stuck. Here is the hair. It looks really good. I'm not going to lie, guys. My hair tends to last really well um, over the night and onto my second day if I do a really good wash day and a good routine and I sleep on it correctly. So this is what we are dealing with right now. But for now, I'm just going to take this finishing um, cream from the Frizz Ease John Frieda line, which is great for curls. And I'm just going to add a tiny bit because my hair doesn't really need much. Get that really worked into my hands to warm up the product and then I'm just going to really lightly just on any little bit of fuzz just kind of scrunch and fluff this in I don't want to flatten my hair out with it but I just want to just add it in by scrunching and here we have it this is my day two hair refreshed 
not really refreshed it kind of just lasts well so i'm off with how it lasts because of using great products and that really does come down to your shampoo and conditioner and then the products you use to style your hair as well so also same goes today i'm going to try not to touch my hair too much throughout the day if i do get annoyed and i want to put it up i'm going to put it up really lightly in a scrunchie but um i'm pretty much just going to leave it out and not fuss with it because i've worked out so i shouldn't be sweating crazily throughout the day i'll check in with you a little bit later throughout the day guys <laughs> okay, so basically, I wanted to show you how I sleep with my hair, so here we are. Same as I told you last night. Pony. <laughs> so I wanted to show you. Good night. That's focus, yes. Good morning, lovelies. Um, I am in such a rush this morning. I've got to jet out of the house for a little work thing that I am doing. Um, and also we've had a few restrictions lifted in Australia, which is so exciting. But I hope you guys are all still being really safe. Um, but yeah, so this is my hair this morning. I just quickly chucked a face on. So I'm not sure exactly what it's doing. I'm really sorry about my bedroom. It's a big sty. So this is what we're looking at. Give it a shake. Okay, so this is, ooh, looks good. My third day hair. Okay, I'm really actually really happy with it. I don't think I need anything. I'm not gonna put any um, product in it. So basically just fluffing it out on my second and third day works really well for me. I doubt I'll be able to do this tomorrow though. So yeah, also I'll be exercising later this afternoon. So then my hair will be really sweaty and gross. So I'll just show you that whole situation um but yeah so i'm just gonna leave it out this morning because it still looks nice and fresh and it feels really soft as well so it's not too tangled yet either that is it for today i will check in with you a little bit later this afternoon sorry for the rush that's cuts the goal hey everybody so me and jesse did end up dancing today but it wasn't a super super sweaty sesh but my hair was still kind of like pulled back into this pony. So I guarantee when I take it out, it's not going to look that cute. But I'm going to have just another quick body rinse now. So I'm going to put my shower cap back on. And then when I go to bed, I'm going to do the same thing. Just a high pony, not pony, like a pineapple with um, my scrunchie. Keeping it really nice and loose. And then tomorrow morning, it's going to be a mess. So guys, I've had my shower, skincare. But I mean... She's a beauty. Like this, this is painful. But my hair's in the um pineapple, as I explained before. Fuzzy down here, but okay up here, as you can tell. Even on my third day, still got really good defined ringlets. But yeah, this is me. Um, I am so hyperactive right now. Normally, I'm like I get tired before bed around this time, but right now I'm just like, bling. So yeah, I'll leave you with that. I'll see you in the morning. Yes, day four hair. Um, this is where we're at. But I am going to exercise this morning and I'm doing cardio, so it's probably going to be a sweaty sesh. So I'm just going to tie it back up into this pony. Um, pop a headband on because you know that is my go to for exercising. Cool. Morning. Hey guys, I'm finished my workout, feeling good today, um, and now I am going to have a rinse. I did a really big cool down and stretch afterwards, so my hair is not sweaty anymore, which is nice. But I'm going to put my shower cap on again, have the body wash, and then we're going to fix my hair because I'm going to my grandma's today. Okay guys, so I've had my rinse, just pop some clothes on. I'm going to shake first just to see what we're working with my four day hair it's not too bad but it's like you know a bit scraggly the curls are kind of out of shape you know what guys i'm gonna put it in a ponytail today i could wear it out but i'm not really vibing it and i'm just i'm not really gonna you know use a brush or any water because i just want it to be really messy ow it's always getting that last one through Just taking a little, um, you know, like detangler spray or the, that secret weapon cream I used the other day. Just, you know, a little bit in the curls so they'll look fresh. 
So um, I'll update you a bit later throughout the day if my hair changes, like if I put it up in a different bun or something. But I'm kind of the type of person that just wears it as long as they can. And then um, unless absolutely possible, I don't refresh it. I'll just put it in a hairstyle and then I'll wait till wash day. Oof. I'm rough this morning, guys. Oof. Sorry, I forgot to film last night. I was so tired, so I just fell asleep. But um, this is how my hair ended. <laughs> this is how my hair ended up at the end of the day, and I just left it in a bun because I knew when I woke up, it, it's not gonna look cute either way. So this is what we're dealing with. I'm going to get exercise now, so I'm just going to do a top knot bun like this. Nothing cute because I don't really care. And then afterwards, I'm going to show you a really cute style for what I'm going to wear for the rest of the day. Okay, guys, so I've exercised. Um, it's probably about midday now because I've just been helping mum around the house, eating, showering, all that type of stuff as well. So I'm. <sighs> this is day five hair. And I normally get to day six hair. Like, I'll wash my hair on day six, which is tomorrow, um, because this is what it will look like. I will disclaim that. You can fully refresh your hair, like I like if you want, on day four to make it last nicely and curly until day six and then wash it properly. But because I'm home and I've got nowhere to be, it's kind of like a waste of energy time product and all that stuff. So I would rather just do a cute hairstyle to get me to day six and then wash my hair properly and start fresh. I'm going to spray the Strunk Elephant Detangling Spray on the roof. So that I can smooth it back into a high bun, just with this um, Denman. I'm going to pop some makeup on and film my video and then, I mean, this is probably getting taken out straight after because my head hurts a little bit. <laughs> just for reference. Go speak. Can't you speak and I mouth it? Guys, so it's day five and I've just put my hair up in a large pineapple. Um, I haven't bothered with it because it's day five and I just want to wash my hair tomorrow. <laughs> Give me the camera. <laughs> but she said, I'm washing it tomorrow. So it's, deal with it's this filthy anymore. and it stinks and it's oily. Okay, good night guys. Good morning guys. It's day six, so it's wash day, except I have somewhere to be this morning for work. Um, so I've exercised, so I'm already yucky and sweaty and gross. We're gonna do a slick style to look cute because there is no other way to fix my hair. And then when I get home later in the Arvo, I will be washing it. So yeah, this is the last day. Sorry, excuse my messy room, but this is what we've got. I have a tutorial for this, that's why I just didn't film it, but I'll leave it here. Um, but I love a slick bun, makes me feel really put together, and it fixes any bad hair though. This is from Glass Ons, these are from Cotton On, these are from Zara, and this coat is vintage, and this bag is from Princess Polly. I've just got to put lipstick on, but I'm going to quickly eat before I leave, and yeah, check in with you later guys. So guys, I finally had my shower and washed my hair. I double cleansed because my scalp was gross. So I double cleansed with the Function of Beauty products and then conditioned. And then I brushed my hair out. And now I'm actually going to deep condition as the last kind of thing for this week. Because I just feel like my hair needs a little bit of a refresh and a reset. But I'm filming a separate video on that for IGTV. So if you want to see that, pop over to my IGTV. I'm pretty sure it'll be already up. Um, so yeah, um, then I'm just going to style it and dry it as usual. And I'll touch you a little bit later to kind of wrap up this whole week. So guys, that finally brings us to the end of this video and this week in the life of my curly hair. So this is day six. I freshly washed my hair and I feel so happy and so light and bouncy. I also deep conditioned, which I think is a great thing to do at the end of the week or before wash, or before wash day at least every two weeks if you can. My hair always is less voluminous after I deep condition because it's super moisturized, but I absolutely love the results and I really enjoyed filming this video. Even though it's been a little messy, I apologize. I've forgotten to film some nights and some mornings, but I think we sorted it out in the end. Let me know if you guys liked this video and if it helped you out. 
Um, I really hope that, you know, all the tips and things in this video and just seeing that my hair is not perfect every day makes you realize that, you know, curly hair is a lot of work and you don't have to look good every single day. Also, make sure you pick up some Function of Beauty products. Um, they are amazing shampoo and conditioners. They've also got some hair serums and other things that you can pick up as well. I've got that 20% off code for your first order, so hit the link in the description box. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Make sure you're staying safe.